this is Jabez from Medic Mode. Today we gonna discuss an important skill that a paramedic should acquire, which is nothing but history taking. History taking is an art because every scenario we face is not the same, but in any scenario we shouldn't forget to get the history. EMS is considered as a bridge from scene to the emergency room in an hospital. The foundation of this bridge is the history taking part because the small things which we miss can be the key for the further treatment. We are not going to see in detail about history taking, but some insights which may be helpful to improvise the way of history taking. The first thing is question time. Usually we can prefer to ask open-ended question rather than the close-ended one. For example, if I meet a chest pain victim, if I ask him, do you have the worst chest pain ever? Then the patient gonna say yes, because it may be the first time he's experiencing a chest pain. But if I ask, how do you feel? Can you describe the pain? Then we may get more information. But still, if you want to confirm something, a close-ended question is preferable. Number two, think before you speak. If I take a history using medical terms, a person who don't have appropriate education, then I won't get the answer I need. We must use layperson's terms while taking history. This concept is applicable for most of the persons we encounter, unless and until if they are a medical person. Number three, appearance and behavior. Real professionalism starts with appearance and behavior. We should establish a professional relationship with our patients. If we want to treat a patient, then we should earn trust from them. There is a famous saying in Tamil which says half man, half cloth, which means people judge us through the attire. So we should maintain a good personal hygiene and grooming and wearing attire that is professional, neat and brisk. At the same time, our behavior also matters. Being polite and calm gives them confidence that we are going to help them. We shouldn't be sad and gloomy. We should maintain a proper eye contact with the patients so that they may know that you are paying attention to them because most of the patients are aged and all have traditional views. So it may be a key to gain the trust so that they can answer your questions appropriately. Fourth, Addressing the patient. Initially, we should introduce ourselves with our name, designation and the organization we are working and as well as our partner. While addressing a patient or the relative or a bystander, we should be professional. Usually, we people call younger people with their name and elder one with respect. But when we come to the profession, we should call everyone in a formal way. We should address them with Mr, Mrs, Miss, etc. and so on. If the patient prefer you to call by name, then you can or else avoid addressing with casual terms like bro, buddy, etc. Fifth, empathy and feelings. We are not handling with robot but a human being with flesh and blood. So we should understand their feelings and the situation they are going through. It may be a difficult conversation for us. Empathy also plays a great role in this situation. Empathy is nothing but putting ourselves in our patient's place and understanding their feelings. If a patient is suffering pain, we can mention that I can understand the pain. These kind of words makes them feel comfortable. True empathy and sympathy cannot be expressed unless and until we have personally undergone the situation. In this situation, it is better we don't ask, are you okay? This will be more tempting for them. Instead, we can ask all the real facts. They should believe that we are a caring healthcare professional. Sixth, being a listener. The important part of this process is being a great listener because some will be confused initially. They need some time to recall. The aged person usually all of a sudden pauses what they were talking. As they take some time to recall, this will be very uneasy for us. But this silence will help us to get proper answers from them. Seven, dealing sensitive topics. It may be awkward for us sometimes to ask these questions. Out of this, first one is obtaining a history of alcohol and drug abuse. People who has consumed alcohol or drug may mask many signs and symptoms, including pain. So, we should be cautious about it. Next is obtaining sexual history. It will be very uncomfortable even for an experienced paramedic and as well as the patient. But still, it is important to obtain it. Interviewing in a private place is most preferable. There will be many factors for which we won't get accurate information. It may be their personal or societal issues. It is also important to ask if the patient has a male or female genitalia because they may be a transgender. Be sure while addressing them, call them as they prefer, like Mr, Mrs and so on. 8. Domestic violence and sexual assault. Scenarios like this will be dangerous for us as well as the victims. So involving the police depending upon the scenario is preferable. In some cases, they may hide a real incident from you. In those cases, the injuries and the information will be irrelevant. Persons with the victim won't allow them to talk to you or the victim may secretly reveal that they are in trouble. In those cases also we should involve police without fail. 9. Culture 
and language. The most important barriers in communication is culture and language. India is well known for the NIT in diversity. We have a lot of cultures, languages and religions. We must understand their practices. In some cultures, sickness is considered as an evil. In some, they won't accept to get vaccinations or medicines. It is better to get consent from these people. In India, most of the time the family head takes decision to facilitate the medical care. So establishing a good relationship may pay way for the care. If you encounter people who speak languages which you are not familiar with, don't use loud voice. The loud voice won't help them to understand what you are talking. Ask someone nearby who is familiar with that language. These days we have mobile applications for live translation. We can also prefer that. It makes a communication more effective. In Challenges one of the crucial challenge is getting history from a talkative or a reserved person. The majority of the talkative ones will talk for less than two minutes. Don't interrupt them unless you want to clarify something. In case of reserved, you want to ask many questions to make them speak and get information you need. Handling emotions will also be a great one. People you encounter may be of different situations and so their emotions also varies. If you encounter a patient with anxiety, try to keep them calm and in some case the anxiety may be due to any abuse. Keep that in mind. If the patient is depressed, try to engage with them and find out is there any suicidal attempts or feelings. If so, connect with the mental health professional. Sometimes depression may be the cause of your arrival. If you are handling a victim with anger, it is important that you should stay calm because your anger may trigger them more. In case, if the scene becomes unsecure, make sure to involve police team. The next is handling physically or mentally challenged patients. If you encounter a mentally challenged victim, you will be asking information from the care Takers. If you want to get information from a person with a slight hearing loss, you may talk slowly and loudly, which may help. If it is a severe hearing loss, you may use your telescope to speak. In this case, diaphragm acts as a mic and the earpiece as an hearing aid. Don't forget to clean it before and after the use. The next is a visually challenged. Introduce yourself properly and make sure you inform everything you do. Make sure you don't move things unnecessarily in their place. And if you want, rearrange as before so it may not affect their living environment. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and share it with your friends whom this might be useful. And if you want more topics like this, I mentioned the topics in the comment section so that we may make the videos as well. Thank you.